Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Um, talking about 45, 45, 90 triangles here. We're continuing on with that. Next video will be 30, 60, 90 triangles, and we'll also have some problem sets for you to try. Now, this video is actually the first problem set about 45, 45, 90 triangles. Now, just to remind you, it's always a good idea to, to watch the previous video if you haven't already, but we talked about how 45, 45, 90 triangles have congruent legs, and the hypotenuse is always radical 2 times longer. All right, that's basically all you need to know. Congruent legs and a radical 2 times the legs gives you the hypotenuse. All right, let's try a couple of problems here. And I want you to look at number 3. Numbers 3 and 4, and actually 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let's have you try all four of these, and then I'll flip the page and we'll go over the answers. Go ahead and pause the video and give it a try. We're going to start with a pretty simple one, and that is number three, the leg is eight, so y must be also eight. Okay, pretty simple. And then the hypotenuse x is eight radical two. All right, it's always radical two times longer. All right, now let's look at number four. Um, notice that the leg is labeled four radical two, so this other leg, v, must also be four radical two. Now to get the hypotenuse u, we're going to take 4 radical 2, which is the leg, and we're going to multiply it by radical 2. The hypotenuse is always radical 2 times longer. So radical 2 times radical 2 is radical 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. In other words, multiplying a radical 2 by itself gets rid of the radical sign. So we really have 4 times 2, which would be 8. All right, so we just have to kind of mess with that radical symbol a little bit. All right, number five, you can see the answers here, and here's why. If the leg here is seven radical two over two, then the other leg, y, has to be the same. Okay, that's pretty simple. Now the hypotenuse is radical two times longer, so we have the leg, seven radical two over two, times radical two, okay? which is seven times two, because radical two times radical two is radical four, which simplifies to two. And we have a two on the bottom, of course, which cancels out, so that's why our hypotenuse is just simply seven. Okay, it looks a little more complicated than it is. And finally, number six, the hypotenuse is seven. And remember, that's already radical two times longer, so we have to divide it by radical two in order to find each leg. All right, now here's how we get the answer. We have to rationalize the denominator, so we have to multiply top and bottom by radical two. And when I do that, on the top, I get seven radical two. And as you've seen before, whenever you take a radical times itself, that gives you two, okay? So that's why u and v are seven radical two over two. Okay, it's a little bit complicated. You just have to double check and work with the radicals and make sure you rationalize the denominator. All right, and I hope that this helped you with your studies. And this is problem set number one. Moving on, next video to 30, 60, 90 triangles. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.